Pobierz aplikację TVP Sport i oglądaj wszystkie transmisje w najlepszej jakości. Linki do sklepów znajdziesz w opisie. Coach, November is a tough month for the national team coaches, says our uh, coach uh, Michał Probierz. I suppose that you can agree with that because, because you have some troubles in your team as well. Uh, totally, totally agree. And I think as national team coaches, we know that. I think there are certain periods that they are harder than others. Uh, I will always say that March is a very difficult one just because of the nature of, of the moment in this season that our players have and then November. I don't know, don't ask me why, but it's the, uh, throughout the, 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 the nine seasons that I've been involved in international football is the camp that you lose a lot of players, uh, players that they start getting over a thousand minutes, there's a lot of uh, change of, of uh, surfaces, I, I don't know, I don't know the reason, but there are a lot of players missing, but that makes you grow, and I think in international football is important that you can use other players, that you can carry on opening the competition for places, and, and, and is, in a way, is the way to grow. As a, as a national team. So it's not a problem that you will be tomorrow without Ruben Neves, Ruben Diaz, Jean Palinia, Diogo Jota, Gonzalo Inacio and etc. That is the chance for another player to, to grow, to, to, get, to get his minutes. Yes, I think that's, a, uh, that's the way we approach it. Um, of course, you don't want to lose four players. For us, it's, it's, it's a lot of players from September, but in the last camp, it's four players that they played a lot of minutes. But um, I do think that we open the group. Um, we work already with uh, a lot a lot more players and the opportunities appear and it's only uh, it's the only the way when the players are on the pitch that they can show what they can do and they can stake the, 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 the almost the, the, the presence in the national team so it is a challenging time when you get injuries because uh, you lack in that synchronization in, in between players and, and, and probably the tactical concepts that you've been working for a long time uh, they need to be more patient but at the end of the game you become a stronger national team and that's the way we, we're looking at it. Speaking about the game, in Warsaw we won 3-1, we were dominating, now we, we are without our best player, without our captain, so is there anything to worry about from Portugal point of view? Oh, of course, yeah, we, we respect immensely. I think the clear ideas of the team is a, is a team that always plays to win. Um, if you look at the games that, that Poland had in this Nations League, in every game is, is minimum four goals, apart from the game in Croatia, away. And that shows you that this is a, a team with a lot of personality, that they don't care where they play and who they play against, that they believe in the, the individual quality. And the ideas of the coach are, are fantastic to, to try to promote that talent in a way that the team is competitive. So we need to to be at our best, we know that, but um, I think we, we relish, we relish the, the challenge uh, for that. It's a shame that Robert Lewandowski is not playing because we want to see the best players in the world on the pitch and for our fans it would have been a fantastic uh, challenge, but we, we understand that's what happens with we the mentioned, You mentioned Robert, what in your opinion Polish national team loses without him? Well, it's, it's, it's one of the uh, informed strikers, first and foremost. It's, it's not just, I think, uh, when you got a player that he is a reference, that is an example in the dressing room, uh, is a player that he, he sets uh, a, a level of, of, of the history of Polish football. That's first and foremost. But now, if you analyze it from the, the moment of now, is an informed striker, probably one of the most informed strikers in world football. But uh, in the other side, I'm sure that uh, the other strikers in the squad is not a team that they never used uh, strikers I think it's almost up to six strikers that they've been used in this national team during the Nations League so there are a lot of players that they got the familiarity of their roles but obviously um, in teams there are certain players and the captains certainly they give a, a leadership and, and they give a presence that uh, is, is difficult to replace. Uh, one short one at the end. You see any underrated player in the Polish national team? Because everyone is speaking about Ronaldo, everyone is speaking about Lewandowski, and what about others? Others? Oh, many, many. I think you you, you see it uh, week in, week out in in their clubs, and then when they go with the national team, I think uh, Zalewski is a player that has got a fantastic future. Um, player that is, is capable of taking risks and, and taking players on and that's what the, the, the fans want to see. We always uh, know about uh, Zielinski, his quality in, in, in playing forward, uh, Simanski, uh, I like a lot about the, the individual talent. I coach uh, individual Polish talent in the past, in my early years in the in the Premier League and, and I know that the, the, the focus and the culture of the, of the Polish players uh, is a fantastic one. Games against Poland would be always special uh, for you 
you, I mean, maybe even sentimental because you made your debut in last game in Warsaw. A very successful one, I would say. Would you agree? Awesome. We won, so it was successful. But that game is gone and now we focus on tomorrow. Of course, Poland uh, was my first game. I was always remembered, but we focus on tomorrow and try to win. In that game, you played as a, um, a mid defender, right? In the middle center of the back, defense, yeah, yeah. yeah, as a central back. But actually, you're a very universal player and you could play as a left back or you could play as a central midfielder. In which position do you feel best? I feel best in a lot of positions of the pitch. It depends on the coach, uh, his decisions of where the player should play. And we have to respect it and be ready if we are called. That's for sure. But in which position do you feel best? Where I feel best? Yeah. As I said before, I'm used to playing a lot of positions. I, so I don't have don't a, care, a straight answer. No, no. In no. every single one, you feel great. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Yes. Okay, perfect. Would you expect that your career would develop as fast after transferring to Basel and then to Chelsea? It's a big step, uh, to be honest. But I live day by day. I don't think a lot about the future. I live day by day, and I try to be the best version of myself today, um, and then each day. So I focus on the day and not tomorrow or yesterday, today. So just one question about tomorrow then, because tomorrow is the game. Uh, who would be missed more in your opinion? Robert Lewandowski in Poland or uh, your friend from the defense of, of, by Portugal? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we have two great players that you said, Robert yeah. Lewandowski, an iconic player and in Ruben the football Diaz. and Ruben Diaz, an iconic player yeah. in football as well. Uh, but we are here to win and that's what we're going to try to do yes, tomorrow.